<clears throat> hey man, look at me rocking out. I'm on the radio. Hey man, look at me rocking out. We're on the video. Lorenzo Ariola. Takes me away. No, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, man, did y'all see uh, that football player clip where he fell down after a tackle and now well, he's like almost dead and cardiac arrest and shit? I saw that clip and yeah, it doesn't look like bad obviously when you see it but man that guy guy's pretty messed up huh? now huh it's tripping me how how people want to find a reason for this happening you know like some people are what blaming the national football league for how unsafe they are which i mean it's true people do get fucked up there and that's because you know and, and that's even with i'm sorry they've softened up since it became the no fun league stop letting people do those really hard hits straight with the fucking helmets and do little fucking dances and cumbias and shit in the end zone uh but man like i don't know some of my favorite pastimes are looking uh for the big football hit compilations on youtube watching players just wreck each other but if you think about it, hockey is just as bad and shit they allow that crap like have you seen how they just like let players duke it out all gta style in hockey and then put them in a penalty box like the brasham Bro- brasham brothers and shit because ducks fly together Dude, have you seen that one video of a goalie that gets his throat slit by some guy's ice skate that hits him in the goal and he's just fucking bleeding out all rowdy like he just got down by the fucking active reload sniper in Gears of War? Come revive me, you stuttering piece of shit. Yeah, though, that, that footage is on YouTube and it's pretty rowdy. That dude that dude lived, uh, though, because some guy shoved his thumb down that guy's like throat wound and stopped the bleeding. Fucking saving Private Ryan and shit. But anyways, yeah. That guy that went to cardiac arrest on the football field, I mean, sometimes shit just happens. People sort of, like, drop dead all the time with no explanation. Doesn't mean he got hit in the chest uh, and fucked his heart up, you know? Uh, doesn't mean that he got the jab and the double vaccine is making hearts explode. Doesn't mean that Kira wrote his name in the death note and made it happen while fucking feeding his Shinigami uh, apples, you know? When it's your time, it's your time, you know? Uh, prayers to him though if that's what you're into uh but everyone's trying to blow this up into wow we have to blame somebody when sometimes shit just happens and and why do people call the vaccine the jab anyways like what a lame ass name it sounds like hijab hijab which okay i'm trying to do a segue here apparently there's an iranian chess player who is competing without her hijab or hijab whatever you pronounce it i'm sorry and now people are warning her to never come back to Iran and the parents are receiving death threats too. Okay, yeah, that's what happens with Twitter. That's literally all Twitter is, is doxing and death threats. It's not good for anything else. Uh, well, uh, it, it is good for if you're trying to, I guess, come out as trans canine. Are, are people kind of talking about that too? Like, I don't know her name, but I saw some chick come out as trans canine and says she doesn't like humans and she only fucks dogs. I mean, I guess if that makes you happy, what what can I say? I mean, I'm all into my cousin, so yeah, I guess all the best people are crazy, right? I'm just wondering how how do you get a dog to consent, like to sex? Like, does she just put peanut butter on her on her snatch, and when the dog licks it, it's all fair, you know, everything's a good to go? And is she exclusive to just doggy style, right? Right? Uh, I'm trying to think if I'd ever fuck a dog. I think it's the fur that would turn me off. I'd want to fuck an animal that was clean shaven, like a dolphin or a hippopotamus, something aquatic, so I can like do it in the uh, bathtub. No, the hot tub. I'd rather like do it in the hot tub and not get it pregnant, you know? Because everybody knows if you have sex in a hot tub, there's a 100% chance of not getting pregnant. That's a fact straight from Dr. Fauci himself. Hot and bother, hot and bother, hot and bother, hot and bother. Well, speaking of hijab, hijabs, hijabs, and dogs, did you see that dog Dana White jab his wife in that TMZ New Year's video? I mean, she did it to him first, so yeah, I mean, by white people's law, he's allowed to beat the living shit out of her. Also, if she put too much spice in whatever she was cooking and ruined dinner, he'd have every right to fuck her up too. But yeah, fall fall into that category, um, 
and yeah, that's what happens. You get hit. I know me personally, I would never hit a woman unless that woman was like legit bigger than me. I might. I remember uh, at work one time seeing this female bus driver coming in. She was buying like orange juice and shit. And she straight up had arms like SpongeBob when he bought those inflatable muscles and was trying to impress Larry the Lobster. So yeah, there's the one exception for me. Uh, but I'm at the point in my life uh, that, you know, that would be some good action for me if a girl beat the shit out of me. Fucking step on my back while you're at it too, baby. Put me in the fucking figure four leg lock. Woo! And hey guys, what's up with these Teslas? Am I right? Like a car that drives itself, huh? It's crazy, right? You fucking up your nose with the rubber hose, huh? Now, what else can it do? That that car, can it fold my laundry and cook me dinner? Maybe I should marry a Tesla and it'd be better than my old uh, battle axe of an ex-wife, am I right? Probably cost me less money, too, in the long run. I get no respect, I tell you, no respect. Now, uh, fuck uh, that artificial intelligence, though. I'm not letting some, like, Haley Joe Osment piece of little shit drive my car around. As long as I'm in my right mind, I'm driving myself around. And uh, I'm pausing here because I'm kind of winking and smiling to the microphone because yeah my mind is not right i'm I'm a sick i'm a sick fuck man you sick fuck you sick fuck you sick fuck <clears throat> oh and speaking of um sick fucks uh the first uh, transgender inmate is set to be executed right in missouri oh yeah i bet he she is pretty missouriable about getting put to death am i right or am i wrong huh fellas she he it, I'm sorry, whatever, the person actually looks kind of like Kathy Bates' character from the movie Misery. I've never actually seen the movie, though, but I know her character from, from it, you know? Uh, but hey, you know, if don't do the crime if you can't do the time. What, what did you think being in between genders would have you slip through the cracks of our justice system? You silly goose. No, that, that just, that's just, we're going to get you, you know? Uh, Bad boys, what you gon' what you gonna do? But but a man transitioning to a woman, nah, like uh these old South states like Missouri can't wait to fucking execute you, you know? They just wish you were black, so they were killing like three birds with one stone, you know? Uh today's Wednesday, right? Is that what today is? Yeah, I think so. Should I watch that show Wednesday? Uh on the Netflix? Is it any good? Tell me in the comments about it, like, about and tell me about how great Raul Julia was in the Adams Family movie and the sequel. Uh, what is Adams? What is Adams Family Matters, right? And in the Street Fighter movie, like, he is so fucking good, guy. Is such a fucking legend. Rest in peace, Raul Julia. I do my head toss, check my nails, baby. How you doing? Feeling good as hell. That's Lizzo. Lizzo's that that really big big woman. Who plays the flute? Lizzo. She probably she might have diabetes. Anyways, yeah, I guess uh I guess that's it for today, y'all. How do you feel about hitting women? Like tell me in the comments. <laughs> I don't think I've ever even hit my mom. And and yeah, that like actually reminds me I remember like, you know, as a kid always being afraid of my mom, right, about to hit me. Or she you you know, they would do that shit with the shoe and you'd flinch and they uh you know, your mom, your parents would kind of get off of it, like the fear, like they feed off of that fear, like the fucking clown it, you know, right before they hit you with the shoe. Well, I remember um, when I was finally, you know, older or whatever, I remember like the exact moment where my mom like had hit me and I didn't flinch after she hit me. I just kind of smiled like the Joker and shit and I didn't react at all to the hit and she immediately backed off like, oh, like. This this kid is an adult now. He doesn't care about getting hit by me. He's not scared of it. Why am I going to hit him anymore? And yeah, she never like hit me again. So yeah, if y'all are afraid of your moms, here's the rallying cry to stand up to your oppressors and fight back because moms are the worst. I tell you, go go hit your mom. Go fucking hit your mom right now. But, but don't hit your dog. You should be nice to your dog, but not so nice that you want to fuck your dog, you know? There's, that's why there's, there's lines in the sand, you know, it's all about balance. We should all have that sense of balance. Unless you're a woman from Iran, I guess. Then yeah, I can't really speak for the way the balance system is there and for your rights, you know. But, uh, I don't care what you wear if you're a woman from Iran and you're playing chess, you know. 
uh just don't wear a butt plug while you play you cheating piece of shit you stupid fucking garbage (laughs) i don't know anyways yeah that's that's it y'all uh take care and be safe bye